Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Bo6 David. Welcome to another 7 Days to Die guide. Today, I will show you how to craft ammo, all types of ammo which you have in 7 Days to Die. That's including the normal, as an example, we'll, we'll take the 9mm, the 7.62, the 44 Magnum, and the shotgun shell. And we'll cover also how to craft the high power 9mm or the AP 9mm. And the same with 7.62, high power 7.62, AP 7.62, and high power 44 Magnum and AP 44 Magnum. That being said, to craft this, you will need a workbench, a forge, and a chemistry station because you will need to get coal, nitrate powder, lead, brass, uh, put them into the forge, smell them also in the chemistry station. You will need to craft the gunpowder in order, of course, obviously, to be able to craft the ammo. Now, let me settle somewhere. I don't know where. I'll, I don't think I'll park actually my motorcycle right here. Is my Magnum reloaded? Yes, it is. Now, that being said, let's... Oh, damn it, I didn't mean to drop that. Let's place down the workbench, the forge, and the chemistry station also. We'll have to put them, I don't know, right here in, in the middle of the road. That is the chemistry station. Can you look how sweet is that looking in, in Alpha 21? I just love this update. Oh, there is a, a zombie. Why have I took this pistol if don't have the damage? Okay, nothing is compared with uh, with the Magnum and damn it, another one is coming down. And let's get started. I will open up the, the workbench first to show you exactly what you need. So let's search for the for the 9mm first. So to craft the normal 9mm you will need bullet tips, you will need bullet casings and gunpowder. To craft, oh damn it, another one is coming. Okay, he's dead. Two bullet tips and two pieces of gunpowder, one bullet casing to craft a single ammo, a single bullet of 9mm. Uh, that's the AP. The recipe is the same for the normal 9mm. The AP is just a little bit more expensive as you can see. It costs just an extra bullet tip and an extra uh, piece of gunpowder. And to craft the high power 9mm you will need two bullet casings, uh, the gunpowder and the bullet casing. What about the 7.62 to craft the normal one? You will need one bullet casing, two, three pieces of gunpowder, and one bullet casing. The what about the AP? To grab the AP, you will need two bullet tips, five pieces of gunpowder, and one bullet casing. The high power costs two bullet tips, one gunpowder, and one piece of uh, bullet casing. What about the 44 Magnum? To grab the 44 Magnum, you will need one bullet casing, two pieces of gunpowder, one bullet casing. The AP costs two bullet casings. Three pieces of gunpowder and one bullet casing. What about the high power? The high power costs just uh, two bullet tips, two gunpowder, and uh, one single piece of bullet case. The shotgun shell costs now uh, one buckshot, four gunpowder, and one piece of paper. So that's the cost for all kind of ammo which you have in seven days to die. Let's get started. I will open up my forge and let's feel. Let's start. Let's fill that with uh, with some wood. Turn it on and I will leave some brass some brass and some lead inside the forge because we need plenty of that actually grab the bullet casings and the bullet tips now meanwhile while i will leave the lead and the brass inside the forge we'll get to the chemistry station and here you can craft the gunpowder using one piece of coal and one nitrate powder will get you one piece of gunpowder and if you're wondering where to get the coal from and the nitrate powder do not worry at the end of this video i will place two videos on the screen so they will teach you where exactly you can find coal every location in seven days to die from where you can get the coal and the nitrate powder there are plenty of ways how to get the, the nitrate powder in that video in that specific video i also showed you where to get the nitrate powder and all the ways from where you can get it but do not worry you can watch them right uh, after this video because they will pop up on the screen i'm trying to make this video uh, as short as possible and uh, not get very long so i will fill up the the chemistry station with some wood turn it on and using the coal and the nitrate powder i can grab plenty of, of gunpowder so right now the port is melting the lead and the brass and the chemistry station is making me gunpowder from coal and nitrate powder one more thing i want to add here do you see that brass and uh, you will see also some items some trophies do not scrap them instead uh, bring them into your inventory at home when you are downloading at the end of the day and just throw them inside the forge because as an example if i will scrap this brass door thing in, inside my inventory i will get less uh, brass instead if i will uh, smell that inside the forge 
I will get more breath from uh, smelting that. So that's a way for to get extra lead, iron, um, I don't know, inside in seven inch die. Just smell them inside the forge, you'll get more than uh, scrapping them into your inventory. That being said, let's get some of the gunpowder that uh, my chemistry station just created. And now uh, let's get crafting some uh, some bullet tips and bullet casings. Uh, one bullet tip costs two lead and one piece of clay. One bullet casing costs six brass and one clay. Now that I have enough uh lead and uh, brass inside the forge i will take those out as you see i have 400 pieces pieces of brass inside and 172 pieces of lead uh, i will leave some clay inside because uh we need also some clay uh let's craft i don't know how many i can craft 15 pieces of bullet casings right now let's go 20 and i will need also some uh, some bullet tips let's go like uh, 20 okay one more please smell more clay okay now my forge is crafting the bullet tips and the bullet casing i will have to wait a bit i know it seems complicated but it's not really you'll just have to get used to this uh, habit because you need the chemistry station the forge the, the workbench everything is involved in crafting m 7 days to die and later on the last one i will show you also how to craft the, the shotgun shells combining that with the auto shotgun come on can you see that that's the beast in killing zombies so uh, in the late game you can get this auto shotgun this bad boy will, uh, will help you a lot let's get some of the bullet casings right now uh, i have 18 two more to go in three seconds and after that we'll have also to wait for the for a bullet tips okay here goes the bullet uh, casings we'll have to wait just a moment for the bullet tips minu meanwhile let me show you also how to craft the the shotgun shell well let, let's have a look on the recipe again to craft the shotgun shell you will need one buckshot four pieces of gunpowder and one piece of paper you can get the the buckshot into uh, if you get into the forge and to craft uh, a single piece of bunch buckshot you will need like three pieces of lead and one piece of clay let's go not like 44 let's go 20 okay my bullet tips are also crafted uh, let's see i have the the box shot immediately i will have them the gun uh, the gunpowder i already have that and the paper you know you can find plenty of paper in seven days to die in our mistake dpy let's get more gunpowder out, out, out of that workbench so uh, let's get some uh, some box shot also from the from the forge and let's get into the workbench and right now using the box shot the gunpowder and the paper i can craft the the shotgun shell let's go just like uh, two pieces because i don't have much materials and uh, i will have to save a lot so let's go into the nine millimeter now using the bullet tip the gunpowder and the bullet casings i'll be able to craft the normal nine millimeter what about the ap uh, i can craft the ap because i don't have the uh, i didn't learn the pistol pit volume six but the cost is the same just more expensive and the same with the uh high power 9 millimeter the cost will be the same but just more expensive than the usual 9 millimeter the same for the 762 let's search for that i can grab that now with the bullet tape the gunpowder and the bullet casings let's go like home, home, how much i can grab 19 let's go two again and that being said about the ap and the high power the cost is just uh, more expensive the 4x4 magnum well let's craft home we can craft 17 let's craft two of these the cost is the same but if you want to go into the high power or the ap the cost is the same it will be just more expensive and after they are crafted you can take them from the output section and that's pretty much everything you need to craft bullets in seven days to die these are all the ways now if you want to craft arrows that's not very complicated because the cost of the arrow is much much more or less you need just wood feathers and arrowheads and of course there are plenty of types of, uh, of arrows like um, iron arrows and steel arrows how to get the arrowheads let's just get inside the forge search for the for the arrowhead and this one it is you can craft one piece of iron arrowhead with uh, with two pieces of iron and just one piece of clay and the recipe differs from the from the head to head and after you will have the heads you can get into the, the workbench and search for the arrow you will have the heads from the forge and you can combine that head with some wood and some feathers all right guys that's pretty much it about this tutorial to be honest i really hope i help you with this video if i help you don't forget to smash the like button leave a comment if you have any questions and of course 
subscribe to my channel because I post tons of 7 days to die guide and not only almost every game. I don't want to keep you any longer than that because I explained to you pretty much everything you need to know in order to craft bullets and ammo in 7 days to die. I want to wish you one more thing, have the greatest day you can have.